Period six again. Welcome. Kelly, how you doing? You all right? I'm good. How's the, the happy baker? <laughs> Emily brought in some cookies. Is that good? Excellent. Excellent. Alexa's back. Welcome. Welcome. Back from Puerto Rico. She looks very healthy. Use sunblock next time. All right? Now, I'm going to tell you a story about a hippo. Now, one of the problems in the book is that there's a hippo, a hippo getting into the water. And we'll say that the angle of the hill is 30 degrees. All right? And that the, it's muddy, very muddy. And it's so muddy and so slippery that the coefficient of friction on the hill is 0 0.05. Okay? Now, hippos are very big. You know what hippo means? What does hippo mean? Horse. Horse. horse water horse. Hippo. 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 Okay? Horse. Okay? I will speak with Uzbekistanian accents for a little bit of problem. Okay? <laughs> okay. Now. There is hippo. Do you see hippo? You see? Can you see hippo? Yeah? Can you see? Yeah. Mickey, you see hippo? Okay. Now, the hippo is on the slope. <laughs> and he's falling down. Oh my god, the hippo's falling down! No! Okay. That's a hippo. Now, this is, this is the same setup I have for the guy, the boy, the student sliding down the banister. Same thing. This is the free body diagram. Shall we review it? Alexa, is that okay? Excellent. So this is 30 degrees here. This is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees in here. This is 30 degrees here. Same as this. I'll make that better. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Okay? Yes? All right, now, the, the hippo has that mass, so we're going to find the weight of that hippo. Is that okay? And we're going to multiply by 10. So what is going to be the motion? Positive. The velocity, positive. Acceleration, positive. Fn is actually up, but we'll put it, we'll use this one, okay? And um, friction is negative. It's going to be a little friction, even though it's very slippery. And FP is the, the actual tendency to go down the ramp. Okay? You with me? I'm going to erase the free body diagram. Are you tired of seeing the free body diagram? That's a good sign. You know why? Because it's becoming so routine that it's almost boring. Because it's becoming second nature to you. It's a good thing. Okay? So I can erase it, and I'm going to erase all this, okay? So the hippo is slipping. Now, we can say that FW is 20,000 newtons, okay? Yes? Yep. We know that FN is going to be 20,000 newtons times cosine theta, which equals what? What is cosine theta times 20,000? Anybody? They're calculating. Let's give them a moment. 17,320.5. All right. Can we round that off to 17,320? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And that equals Fn. Okay? So we can put that up here. So we can say Fn equals 17,320 newtons. Okay? okay? All right, now, Ff, we know is Ff equals mu Fn. So what is 0 .05, 0 0.05 times 17,320? What do you got? 866. 866? Is that, we have a verification on that? Yeah. Matt, you with me? 866? Okay. So 866. Now, is that positive or negative? Think back to the negative. diagram. It's, negative. Kelly, it's negative. Negative 866 newtons. 
That's it. Now, before you, before you, before we leave, I'll tell you a quick story. You want a quick story? Yeah. I lived for a little bit of time in Malawi, right on Lake Malawi, in a little village called town called Salima, right on Lake Malawi. On the other side of Lake Malawi is Mozambique. Okay, it's the southern part of the lake. And there's a little road going, just one car wide, going up along the shore of the lake. And between the road and the lake, there's a little two to three foot patch of grass that I'm walking on, reading the paper. And I'm, I'm sensing that there's something on the other side of the road, right there, right there, six, seven feet away from me. And you know what's there? I look, I'm reading the paper, I look over, and it's a hippo. It's a hippo. It's a hippo. So I, I stop. The hippo stops. The hippo goes. I walk. The hippo walks. I stop. The hippo stops. What do I do? I'm trapped by a hippo. I like horses. Horses don't like to go backwards. Why? They can't see. My horse went backwards. Well, you have a very, very, very great, wonderful horse. Well, they don't like that. Do you gallop backwards? No. I was... oh, no, because they can't see. Okay, now. So I walk backwards, and, the, ho and the, the hippo stops, and it's like looking at me. And I go about 50 feet, and I stop. And I said to myself, this hippo wants to go in the water. And sure enough, went in the water, disappeared, never saw the hippo again. That's my hippo story. Hey, be careful out there.